so annoying. So freaking annoying. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's go ahead and run a quick ad while we get ready. That way people coming in don't get ads. In a minute. Just sending out a quick notice on Discord that I'm going live. I gotta find out what I'm even gonna draw. I decided to do some drawing today, but I need to catch up on Inktober, so uh, I guess I might start with trying to draw my own character in a TV form, maybe. Maybe we'll give that a go to start with. Let me just pull up some references here. Uh, all right, reference one retrieved. I need reference two. I wonder what pose I should go with. All right, time to actually start the art. Let's get the pose worked in first. If I can get the pose worked in, I should be able to go over it in the next layer. Uh, let's see. I don't think it really matters the sketch inside of a There's really no purpose in using the sketch pencil in digital, unless you're going for like the sketch look. But I'll use it. Also change the color up to when I do the the inking later. It actually is a different color. Alright, so I'm going to go with... Well, I don't know. I don't know what pose I want to go with yet. I have a couple examples up on another monitor. But I'm not really sold on any. I should probably sign into uh, Pinterest. They usually have a lot of good examples on there. Apparently I haven't saved my credentials on Pinterest, so let me figure out how to even sign into this since the site is so annoying in that like ad adpocalypse if you don't have an account. And it's only half the ads. <laughs> There we go. So I'm going to draw my character. I need a pose. Everything's like a pose I don't really care for, just like standing. I'm trying to work on my ability to draw things that are not facing forward. So it's proving to be a little difficult. 
find something. All right, this might work. Start with the head. I think chibis typically follow the same kind of Nope, can't make that mistake. Supposed to be side profile, it here shouldn't be that large. Doesn't look right either. Go ahead and put some placeholders in. Mm, doesn't feel right. That's what I get for trying to do Inktober when I've been so busy this past couple of days. We're already a week into October. Crap. Ludum Dare started on the 1st of October, and I feel like I have not been able to stop and actually rest since then. <laughs> Alright, Chibis don't really have necks. I don't like this, I'm gonna start over. It's just been my art the past two days. Like, I've started so many drawings, and I just erase them. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> You're rating? Oh, no. Hello, Ekitai. I just erased my, my terrible start. I have no idea what to draw. <laughs> I'm like 10 minutes in, I already have a, a drawing block. Thanks for the follow, Ekutai. <laughs> oh, well, there's people here. What should I draw? I was going to try to draw my, my model as a chibi, but I'm really not feeling it. <laughs> I'm open to suggestions. I guess I'll start. <laughs> this head looks a little bit better than the one I did last time, so hopefully we'll get a good start. You know what, we'll just do, uh, we'll just freeform it.
I feel like my art's not quite to the point where I can draw without reference though, so maybe I'll start without a reference and then move forward. Well, I was planning on drawing a bunch of chibis, but I was trying to find some poses to draw. That way at least I have some reference to work with, but I couldn't find any that I actually liked. Also, as as typical, I'm drawing it way oversized. Like, I started drawing chibi, then I'm like, my hand just went back to normal size. <laughs> Let me undo this. Let me draw out the body shape so I can get the rough idea. Let's start simple. Let's start with the simple shapes. I can't draw with reference or without reference. This is why I'm practicing. <laughs> this is why I'm doing Inktober. Uh, unfortunately, I can't find a reference I actually like, which is why I'm kind of just eyeballing it at this point. We're going with the, the stupidest simple shapes we possibly can, then I'll do another layer and try to make it a little more a little more nice. I really don't like this body shape. <laughs> I really need a reference. Pinterest is letting me down. I typed in like chibi and it's like, you mean full anime? I'm like, no. Hello, Koji. Yeah, half body is a lot easier. I don't know why I'm making it more difficult. Although I just tend to do that for most things. I need to get better at drawing everything though, so that's why I'm going to try to do full body. Well, I'm doing Inktober kind of in parts, so every week I'll probably do like like a weekly stream or something where I just try and get a bunch of different drawings out because I don't have the, the several hours a day to dedicate to it. But we're gonna... oops. We're just gonna take this, we're gonna move it a little bit up. There we go. That that feels tiny bit better. <laughs> thank you, Ekatai. I'm probably saying your name wrong, but thank you for the raid and for following <laughs> and for the wishes. I will do my best. All right, let's try to improve on our shape. We'll stick with blue for now. I'll switch to black when we actually get to the, some of the final bit.
how was your your Pikmin stream, Koji? I can't say I've ever actually played that before. The closest I've ever played to Pikmin is uh, Patapon, which I would actually love to play again. I wonder if they've made a third one yet. I don't think they have, though. But then I'd have it stuck in my head forever. Like, the... The Patapon like war beats and all that stuff that you have to do in the game they just get stuck in your head <laughs> Oh, yes, my, my characteristic frown. Need to pump that eraser up a bit. Not quite what I'm going for, but it kind of works. There we go. That's closer. Hello Snug, how are you doing? It feels like it's been like a month after doing Ludum Dare and all the stuff I've been keeping busy with at work. It's felt like a month since I've done a different stream. <laughs> I feel like I've went into a time machine. I'm doing pretty good. Today is the first time I've had a chance to actually relax, and it's pretty good. <laughs> Your computer's always malfunctioning, Koji. 
<laughs> Have you figured out your keyboard or trackpad issue? How about Snug? How about you, Snug? How are you? Wait, what am I doing? I don't have two. I don't have two of those. Out what my own character looked like for a second. Yeah, restarting is usually the first answer. Usually, what I start at start with. <laughs> I don't know what your time is. <laughs> what is your time? I don't own it yet, but I can buy it and download it pretty quick. I have pretty decent internet. Completely depends on the time. Yeah, nine hours definitely does not work. <laughs> nine hours, I will be at work. <laughs> I will have slept and be either asleep currently or at work. It is currently 9 p.m. here. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with a lot of time zones. Makes doing uh, collaborations very difficult. Because uh, VTubers and all of them are uh, spread out across the globe. And since I'm not a, a full-time streamer, I, my stream availability is severely limited. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go make money so I can actually afford to do this. <laughs> yeah, there's all there'll always be another time. For anyone that's like a twelve hour difference from me, I'll have to do like weekends only. Unless I have like a day off. Which is also hard to get. <laughs> I also, I have the hand the, the wrong way around right here. I gotta fix that. <laughs> uh, you can't see it but I was like putting my own hands out in front of me and I'm like how would this look like in a different in a mirrored position and I'm like yeah that hand's not right <laughs> I 
I always start like sketching and I forget that I have the eraser equipped. <laughs> so it's just like erase, erase, erase. <laughs> oh, I did it again. Oh my god, we got actual coloring this time. Hands actually, yeah, yeah, hands are the worst. <laughs> I was about to say they aren't so bad, and I looked at the hands I drew, and I'm like, yeah, those are like okay, you can recognize them as hands, but I don't understand how hand, so honestly, my artist goals at this point is simply to get to the level where I could draw someone's pre-sketch at their level. Like, I'll watch an artist draw something, and their pre-sketch is already beyond my ability. And I'm just like, I wish I could draw that. <laughs> like, that would be good to me. Like, I'm in between beginner and intermediate, I think. I'm at, like, the, I don't know, the 12-year-old the level, if they're an artist. <laughs> <laughs> the way I'm rating myself is I remember people back in like middle school and I'm like I think a middle schooler could draw this but I think I'm at about that level <laughs> I need to get to a point where I can draw something where you're like you know a student didn't do that <laughs> Yeah, one day. <laughs> I don't think my art's bad. It's just not good. Not bad, but not good. It's somewhere in between. It's like people wouldn't go out of their way to obtain my art. And I've also tried giving away my art on Twitter. And... It took a lot of effort to get people to sign up to receive free art. <laughs> Honestly, I should probably do that again for Inktober. Because when I draw art for other people, I have more incentive to actually do it. But if I draw art for myself, it's just not quite... Well, that's the thing. There's always an artist that's better than you. But right now, the artists that are better than me are like teenagers. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of people that don't say no to free art. But yeah, I have to go out of my way to get them to see that I'm giving free art. <laughs> now, I could just draw anyone I want, obviously. And if I was looking just to get popularity, I could easily just draw, you know, big names. But I'm not doing that. Like, if I draw something for someone, I want them to have requested it. Which is probably weird, just the way I think. I think social media in general is hard. Like, if you're not willing to game the system, like, it doesn't work very easily. <laughs> you have to either be really good at something, really popular, very social, or willing to throw everyone else underneath the bus. <laughs> And I'm like none of those things. I'm somewhere in between a lot of them.
See Koji over there, Koji has a personality, so people just flock to him. He's just drowning in uh fans. <laughs> Yeah, I'll um I can do requests. Yeah, Koji, but that's because you stream when all your friends aren't in school. Or are in school. <laughs> I think streaming is going to be difficult for a lot of people just because everyone's kind of back in school, whether it be the, the high schoolers... Or the college people. Everyone's kind of busy. All right, I don't I don't know what kind of a pose I went for here, but here we go. I don't know. It's like maybe I need to draw someone else like holding a gun or something like my hands are up. <laughs> I kind of like the sketch aspect, but it is Inktober, so I should probably actually ink it. Now, here's here's the thing. I'm very good at some of my line art, but I'm very bad at proportion and consistency. So some of this will probably look good. Some of this will look awful. <laughs> I get, I would yes I I get myself into that situation quite often. It also depends on what you're drawing on. If you're drawing on a cheap tablet, it's not going to capture your movement very well. Like, I'm not even drawing on anything that expensive. I'm just drawing on an iPad, so I mean... Yes, iPads are expensive, but it's not meant for, you know top quality pressure sensitivity art <laughs> it's actually kind of annoying because every time i look up like a procreate tutorial uh it's always people like selling patterns and it's like is this a market do people just like draw a little cloud and put some background stuff on it and like sell it <laughs> Snug, that's every artist. Every artist is like, my art is terrible. It's trash. <laughs> the difference is, mine's pretty close to that trash level. Like, I'll get better, eventually. That's what Inktober is for. I'll look at my first sketch in at the beginning of the month, and hopefully at the end of the month, I'll see some level of improvement.
like I've already seen improvement from like a month ago, so I imagine it's possible to see more improvement. I haven't reached that point where improvement is difficult. I appreciate the support. <laughs> Yeah, there's a point where the about the ability that you have kind of peaks and you have to so I actually watched a couple of videos on like the the phases of improving your art. I'm still in the phase where I kind of need to draw shapes and like kind of figure out like what makes the thing a thing. Like if I'm drawing a face, I should start with a circle and then I should draw, you know, a triangle for the jaw or, or like what I was doing with the body where I'm just kind of like roughly putting it into the biggest shapes possible but then the next phase of that is just drawing with reference so taking something that has a reference and then trying to imitate it and then the third phase is like going on to learning like where the muscles are at if you're doing character art and like just really learning like the grooves of the body and whatnot. And then it just gets even more in depth from there where you're just adding details. But I think I'm still pretty far away. Yeah, reference is needed for like everyone. Like even professional artists are constantly using reference. Because you need something as a comparison. Because for the most of us, our our minds have a habit of filling in details. So here's a good example of this. If you try to remember something from your childhood, like where you used to live, can you remember every window that was in the house? Like if you looked back, and you just tried to think and count how many windows were in the house. Do you think you could guess that accurately? Because there are small details that are that we see that we just overlook. I think I actually learned that in a, a psychology class, not so much an art thing, but it still applies. Yeah, I can't remember what happened yesterday either. Yesterday was a long day, so that's especially true. <laughs> I feel like I do this in a weird order. I always start with like the face. And then I go one layer up and start drawing in the hair. Oh, gotta undo that. Oops. <laughs> Too big. It's 
It's gotta be like the worst ponytail I've done. Mm, doesn't quite work. See, this is where I start getting into like shapes that don't. I'm not good at. I don't really know the angle to put this at. I think that's closer. You're free to draw me whenever you want. <laughs> I know this is not the right angle, but I think I'm going to leave it. <laughs> No, this is Inktober. I'm supposed to improve. I can't accept bad. <laughs> there we go. That's close. As soon as I finish this one, if you want to give me a recommendation, I'll move over to that one. I think I'll be done with this one probably in like 10 minutes. I'm not going to do the thing I usually do. My usual way of drawing is I'll pretty much just work my way up. So typically I'll draw something five times and each time I try to improve the layer above it. But since I'm trying to catch up, I can't I can't be perfectionist. <laughs> Oh no, I drew on the wrong layer. Yeah, you're supposed to improve your line art, but I'm kind of trying to improve everything, to be honest. See, I tried to improve it. Instead of just doing a sharp line, I added a fold. <laughs> That's what you call a, a pro artist strat. Trying to trying to draw less straight lines and more fluidity. Now for the hard part. Ah oh, yes. My very flat thumb. <laughs> Let me redo that. Better. That's not correct. The second finger is supposed to be the longest. And it's going to be tiny. Is this the right size? 
feel like it is. I don't know the ratios for uh for chibis. Then again, I don't really know the ratios for normal art either, so All I know is that chibis have giant heads, pretty much no necks. <laughs> Yeah, technically a chibi, I don't even think you need to have fingers. You just have like a a ham fist. <laughs> The hands are roughly the same size. Not quite, but roughly the same size. I should probably draw this first. Now I'm definitely not good at drawing transparent things. That's definitely outside my, my wheelhouse. So that's roughly the correct thing.
There we go. We got a boot. See, the thing about Chibi is you can kind of get away with some some level of uh, laziness, I guess. Not quite laziness, I, I suppose. It's more simplistic. You don't have to worry too much about proportion. Because things can look a little unrealistic. But at the same time, you do have to have relative proportion. You can't like completely throw out the rules if you want it to look conventional. But it doesn't have to be as complex as like realism. All right, now we just get rid of these layers. There we go, we got GP Craft. What if we do like horrific chibis? <laughs> like spooky, John, not, not spoopy, spooky. <laughs> I think that about covers this one. I can see that the face is a bit off, but altogether I think it's okay. Alright, this will be Inktober number two. And see my non legible handwriting. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. You can see this is the one I did uh, earlier in the week, maybe two days ago, maybe. I tried to do a, a simple pose. And as you can see, I also did the the waist up tactic. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't shown this one. Uh, this is one I made when I was practicing chibis. This is my current D and D group that I'm DMing for. Yeah, for these ones I had actual reference. The only thing I'm not happy with is Otto's eyes. His eyes are just off. <laughs> which I probably would have noticed if I did the flip test. Which I didn't actually do over here. So let's go ahead and do the flip test and see just how awful everything actually is. 
I just flipped the, the actual canvas. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, you can see the eye positions are off. I mean, proportion is just so difficult. Also, it looks like the cape, it looks like his head's on backwards. <laughs> This is why you have to flip your canvas. This one looks okay, and then you flip it, and it's like, no, no. <laughs> Anyways, Snug, I believe you had a a recommendation. Oh yeah, you can also see my my practice here trying to get all the the face stuff right. You know, all the all the logistics of how a face is broken apart. No recommendation? <laughs> Yeah, there's a bit of a delay on phones. I don't know why phones have like a an extra delay in a fighting stance. You can do that. Alright, we're going to do a half body. Actually, we could probably do a full body. Let me pull up a pose. I don't know why, but so sometimes I'll, I'll find a pose. It just makes me giggle. There's a, a knife pose that has uh, the butt as the focus. And I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> Alright, we'll go over something somewhat simple to start with. And then maybe I'll do an action version of it. Sketch with the sketch pencil. As I kind of like how the sketch pencil looks. <laughs> anyway, if this one turns out good then the next one we'll do a, a more interesting pose and i i don't remember if i actually made the redeem or not heck you could ask koji to redeem his 10,000 craft coins I have a redeem to draw things. Not that anyone that hasn't been following me for a while can afford it.
let's see, for this one, I probably need to switch my canvas. So, can I rotate this? How do I, how do I rotate it more? <laughs> That did not work at all. I know you can afford it, Koji. You and uh, OO and maybe one other person. How do I rotate this? You know what? Screw it. This is an empty canvas. Let's just delete it and we'll start another one. Since we're doing a proper pose, I'll actually use the proper file size. You're not always there, Koji. Not always. Yeah, in some cases, it's just easier to unmate, un. to start over. <laughs> All right, time for the general pose. We're gonna make it super simple to start. I can draw a straight line. I can see that this is off. So I think what you're supposed to do Yeah, I was thinking about getting Clip Studio. I mean, they've aggressively marketed it, but it does look like it has a lot more tools than what Procreate does, which seems pretty nice. Then again, I feel like I'll probably improve my actual drawing more by doing this, but if I was doing like professional art, the extra tools would probably uh, be a huge incentive. I'm going to start this over. Let's get the basic shape. I could draw a circle, please. Close enough. But let's do the full, the full thing here. I mean, Procreate's nice, don't get me wrong, but I think I'll eventually give Clip Studio a try. Because I think they actually have it where you can use it for an hour a day for free. Yeah, so what what draws you to Clip Studio specifically for manga art? 
I'm curious because I kind of want to go for that kind of style eventually. multiple pages on one project. I mean, it's basically just layers, isn't it? Yeah, some of the shading stuff that they've had like gifts of, I'll give them credit. They give them, they, they do really good at marketing themselves because a lot of the tools I've seen have looked pretty cool. Oh, I can hydrate. Oh, so it's kind of like a folder. I mean, you can pretty much do that with Procreate or any other. I guess I'd have to see how it looks. I think I know what you mean. You're kind of saving it as a project instead of the layers being stored in a single image. I guess they kind of get stored individually, which gives you that unlimited layer kind of thing. So I doubt you could actually put all the, the layers on at once if you had more than like 300 layers. I can see the advantage of that, though. Man, hands are hard. <laughs> I don't know how to draw this.
Yeah, when you get into like the shading and the coloring, I imagine that's where the layers come in way more handy. And then the having so many of them. I'm gonna move my reference over. Oops. There we go. God, I hate hands. All right, so thumb. Going at weird angles. Rest of the hand. Kind of doing this. There we go. That looks like a hand, kind of. Needs to be at like a different angle. Leave like that for now. Yeah, these will be on Twitter later. Even if they're bad. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna we're gonna cheat a little bit here. Take that, we'll pretend it does not exist, take this, whoops, I'll just take this and I do it over here. There we go. <laughs> Get you later, Snug. All right, we got the rough shape done. Unfortunately, this is very tall. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to merge this down, take this, make it as large as we can, Now we need to actually check our proportion. So it's supposed to be about, your body's supposed to be about seven heads tall. We 
which is just a, like a rough guess here. We got. I think we're about right. So this one right here is supposed to be around that that area. Actually, no. It's probably off by a bit. We probably need to extend the torso a bit. I did that on a different layer. <laughs> there we go, that should be closer to what it should be. Time for the next layer. With my level of like uh, perfectionism, I'll never catch up for Inktober. I'm five behind currently. I'll probably have to draw some more chibis. Make something simpler. All right, now we start adding actual detail. We've already kind of roughed in where the face features go. Now, we have to do it again. Actually, we'll start with, I should start inking it. If it turns out well, we can kind of <laughs> you shouldn't stress yourself out like that, Koji. You gotta pick one. I also, I don't think your PC can handle it. <laughs> I will not be offended if you watch someone else, Goji. It is okay. <laughs> ah, yes, finally a good line. Ooh, I finally got a good eye shape. I'm going to copy that. I kind of like that effect. Yeah, I've noticed that the artist, uh, Sarah, that did my my reference, my model reference, did a very unique way of doing the eyes. Because I've been trying to draw myself from their reference. To try and keep it to the original. It's an interesting way of drawing it. I'm not quite copying what they did. They kind of used like a... A sideways square, almost. 
very there's also like the eye lines very jagged and then also there's just these darker spots Also, another trick you can do to make sure you have the proportion right. Uh, we'll take this. And if you copy it again. And if I move this here. The, the space between your eyes should be about the space of one, one, one eye at least from what I researched. So I actually have the positioning of the eyes pretty spot on, I think. All right, we got the face. Time for the hair. I'm going to try to do this one similar to how she did it as well. There's multiple like sections of hair. Yeah, that's something I'm typically lacking on a lot of mine. Cause I never I never know quite where to do it. So by kind of working off of my own model, I can kind of it I I can try to get a feel for it. So essentially the first artist that I'm, I'm mimicking is uh, my model artist. <laughs> you can already see differences in how I do it versus the way she does it. The more people I study from, the more diverse my drawings will get. And then over time, all those things that I've studied become my own art style. I'm still far away from that. Everyone always wants to start off like developing their own art style. And that's not, it's impossible to do that. You have to have references and those kind of form what your art style becomes.
supposed to go? I feel like this is supposed to be higher. smooth out some of these bits. I'll probably have to do another, another layer on top of this to actually have a, a good ink layer. It's unfortunate how it works. I wait for that last until I get the rest of these done. There we go. What do you mean, damn you being in school? <laughs> Thank you, I will. Honestly, I have work in the morning as well. I should probably get to sleep in a bit too. I'll probably finish this drawing, or at least get it to the next stage of, of the drawing. That ear is way too low. He like this. Pointed. Ooh, that's probably the best I'm going to get there.
how this looks. I think it's coming along. Of course, we got all this to go. <laughs> all right, Nick. Followed by rest of neck. Although I should probably compare this to the actual pose I'm doing. Looks about right. I actually get kind of lucky because the fact that my character has a cloak makes some of it a little bit easy. Kind of get, kind of skip almost to the left side of the body. This side is obscured by this. Wrong angle. This angle needs to be like this. Go like that. There we go. And the cloak pretty much drapes across. Although we do have our arm up a bit, so it probably needs to go back. And then drape this way. Some of these extra lines. Uh, I guess we don't need the hair there. That should probably be in the back. Unfortunately, this will probably not be my final, final layer. 
I'll have to smooth out quite a bit of it. Like this right here needs to be more of a an oval than it is a sphere. Let's see, this is going to go around, and it kind of tucks behind the arm. Doesn't quite look right. And I can't draw that dagger to save my life. That angle is so wrong. I do it more on this side. Kind of works. A little bit closer, anyways. Give it a little three dimension. Nope, that didn't work. All right, let's move on to something else. And get the belt. Crap. Draw the belt buckle first. Belt's about the same size. Like the pant seam. Oop, I pressed the button. Accidentally hid my overview. <laughs> Need potions on this side.
Didn't even draw on the belt over here. Didn't get in the way. We can leave that line in there because that kind of acts. Actually, no, we can't. We can't leave that line at all. Okay. Already turning out a little bit better than the chibi one I did. In terms of uh, correct detail. I'm pretty pleased with that. Not perfect. I think it fits. Although I probably should scale it up. There we go. That looks more correct. <laughs> Okay, now for this. I think I made that too high, that's okay. See what it looks like without the sketch. Not the worst. Great though. This definitely needs scaled.
better. Not the best. And look a little overscaled probably, but always tweak it up. Yeah, this is actually more accurate. It follows the lines a little bit better. The left side, I probably need to move this actually. This needs to come over like that. Then obviously this needs to come down. This really needs to be at a different angle too. Not sure what. For the, the host, as 4K. I just draw the sheath at this point. Since the two daggers are out. I don't know why I'm doing like sketch lines at this point. I guess I didn't really rough it in this bit. How's it going, Hash?
I'm almost to the point where I might start wrapping up. I don't think I'm going to finish this in time. Starting to get late and I do have to work. I started off with my line art being very clean, but then I decided this is more of a sketch layer again. I don't have the lines where I need them to be. So I'll have to do another layer that adds even more detail. Like, I need to, like, sketch in the rough layout of the hand. I actually know how this looks. Man, my hands and forearms and arms are always terrible. Go like back. Like the reference I'm using doesn't do a great job of really showing where the hand kind of is moving. Slightly better. Although for this pose, the neck probably needs to be crouched a bit. Because the original pose I was using isn't crouched. So unfortunately, a lot of this has to kind of move. And down. We got to angle this a bit.
a bit closer, I think. We also need the cloak kind of dangling. All right, let's phase two, I think. Now we lower the opacity of this one. Get rid of that one. Start a new layer. Unfortunately, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap there. End of the two hour mark. Uh, thank you for anyone that was watching. You guys have a great night. Uh, I didn't really get caught up with things over, but I've made progress. So, we did this one, and I also did my little chibi over here. So, I'll send out this one, and I'll probably send out day three progress for Inktober uh, progress. <laughs> Go ahead and just put. October 3, work in progress. Supposed to do like one a day, but I, I can't fit that into my schedule. It's just not possible. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm going to go get some sleep. And tomorrow I'll be playing some Ludum Dare games. And hopefully, at some point, I'll have time to finish this sketch tomorrow. Uh, probably off stream. But I'll probably do another art stream on Saturday or maybe Sunday. Where I'll, I'll hopefully be able to catch up on the days for Inktober. Have a nice night.